Hi, I'm Steve Hosher with Razor Gauge, and today I'm going to explain our miter stop extension. The miter stop extension is our standard stop extension with a few modifications to work with typically a double miter saw or some people call it a notching saw or a v-notching saw. It's a saw that has two blades that cut uh, a miter on either side. And the interesting thing about these saws is that the, the fence is usually in the front. And so uh, that changes the configuration a little bit. And the other thing about it is when the razor gauge is used as a stop, then the razor gauge has to receive a miter cut part. If this uh, was the positioner and it was mounted on the front, then the uh, material would be, if we used a trapping style of miter stop, then the material would come against the stop like this. Now that all looks great. The problem is, is that when the stop flexes a little bit, then you can spring that stop extension away from the fence and that changes the length of the part. So the harder the operator pushes on the part into the stop, the further it goes in and you get length variation. We use a slightly different stop extension bracket that allows us to put our stop extension out away from the fence. We don't use this fence at all. Um, what we do is we catch the part in a bird's mouth on our miter stop extension. First we adjust the miter stop extension until the miter stop is flush with the fence. So you can see here I'm going to uh, first I'll put a part in here and you can see you know how the our miter stop catches that part. Uh, now you can push as hard as you want and nothing flexes and we don't get variation in the links. Now the uh, difficult part about this is that this thumb has to disappear in into the fence because we often want to cut short parts. So the way we achieve that is by applying a piece of quarter inch plastic to the front of the fence and leaving a gap at the bottom for the thumb to go into. So now I'm going to advance the razor gauge so you can see how that thumb disappears under the fence. Now there you can see the thumb is just beginning to go under the gap that we've left under that plastic. And then we put the part in and you can see it's right there. Uh, when you install this you flush the inner surface of that thumb to the front face of this uh, plastic spacer. So that's why we have our adjustable bracket in conjunction with this uh, this miter stop. So that is how our miter stop works and a brief explanation of why we do it that way. So that's our uh, the miter stop extension by Razor Gauge. Thanks, I appreciate your attention and give us a call if you have any questions.